Did you know that many people suffer from potassium deficiency without even realizing it? A potassium deficiency can occur when the body loses more potassium than it takes in or when it's unable to absorb enough of this mineral from the digestive tract. As a result, potassium levels become too low, which can lead to muscle weakness, fatigue, and other health problems. Potassium is a mineral that plays a role in the electrical activity of your heart, helping it to contract and relax. It also helps regulate the amount of fluid in your body, so it's important to get enough potassium in your diet. Having a potassium deficiency is most commonly caused by kidney disease or type 1 diabetes, both of which are associated with high blood pressure. However, an insufficient intake of this nutrient can also cause a deficiency if you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. In severe cases, it can cause cardiac arrest, but this is rare. In this video, we will be talking about the signs of potassium deficiency. Number one, muscle weakness and cramps. Potassium is found in many foods, such as beans, potatoes, and bananas. However, it's difficult to consume enough potassium unless you eat these foods every day. The recommended daily allowance for potassium is 4 700 mg for adults. If you're not getting enough of the nutrient from your diet, it may cause you to become deficient in this essential mineral. The most common symptom of low potassium is muscle weakness. If your muscles are weak and crampy, it may be because your body doesn't have enough potassium to keep them functioning properly. Muscle weakness may also be due to an inadequate intake of magnesium, which is another mineral important for muscle growth. However, this isn't as common as low potassium levels. Some people are at greater risk for developing a potassium deficiency than others. These include people who take diuretics or laxatives, those with high levels of aldosterone, people who eat excessive amounts of salt, and women with heavy menstrual periods due to pregnancy or birth control pills. Number two, weakness and fatigue. A potassium deficiency may occur as a result of excess, loss of body fluids, such as during prolonged diarrhea, vomiting, or sweating. When the body is unable to replace potassium lost, symptoms of potassium deficiency will develop. The symptoms of potassium deficiency include excessive fatigue. People with this mineral deficiency tend to feel lightheaded after standing up quickly or weak during physical activity, such as climbing up the stairs. Fatigue can be caused by many different things. If you're feeling tired and lethargic all the time, it's important to visit your doctor or healthcare professional to determine the cause of why you're feeling this way. Number three, digestive problems. Potassium deficiency can cause digestive problems, such as gastritis or inflammation of the stomach lining. This may be accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. The lack of this nutrient affects the muscles of your intestines and colon, including the muscles that push food through your digestive tract. Potassium helps regulate the movement of food through your digestive tract by stimulating the release of digestive juices from your stomach and pancreas, as well as bile from your gallbladder. If you don't get enough potassium from your diet, these organs may not produce enough digestive enzymes to break down food properly. Some parts of food may move too slowly through the digestive tract or leave too quickly without being digested properly. Number four, constipation. Constipation is a common complaint. In fact, it's one of the most common reasons people go to their doctor. Constipation can have many causes. It may be the result of a poor diet, lack of exercise, or dehydration. The kidneys need at least a two to one ratio of potassium to sodium to work properly. Most Americans get too much sodium and too little potassium from their diets. This can lead to dehydration and constipation. One cause of constipation is low levels of potassium in your blood. Your body uses the mineral to help regulate muscle contractions in your gastrointestinal tract. When there's not enough potassium in your blood, it can impact how well you digest food and how well your intestines absorb water. Number five, abnormal heartbeat. Abnormal heart rhythms are caused by a disruption in the normal electrical activity of the heart, 
which results in a change in the heartbeat rate. In a recent study, researchers found that potassium deficiency can cause abnormal heartbeat. The study was conducted to evaluate the relationship between serum potassium levels and heart rate in healthy individuals. The study included 63 male participants who were divided into three groups according to their serum potassium levels. The study results revealed that high serum potassium levels were associated with decreased heart rate, while low serum potassium levels were associated with increased heart rate. If you're experiencing an irregular heartbeat, you must not try to self-diagnose or treat yourself for any possible underlying conditions, especially if it involves taking medications without first consulting your doctor. Are you liking our video so far? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number six, bone loss and numbness. Potassium deficiency is most common among people who eat a high-protein diet. If you don't get enough potassium from your diet, your body will steal it from your bones to meet its needs. This can cause bone loss and osteoporosis, which makes you more prone to fractures if you fall or bump into something. Potassium deficiency can also cause numbness in the arms and legs because of nerve damage caused by low potassium levels. The exact cause of this, nerve damage isn't known, but it may be related to low blood pressure related to potassium deficiency. Number seven, breathing difficulties. Potassium deficiency may cause breathing difficulties, especially if you have kidney disease or an eating disorder that causes potassium loss. Potassium is essential for muscle contraction, including the muscles of your heart, lungs, and digestive tract. A lack of potassium may cause a condition called hyperkalemia, which increases blood acidity and lowers the ability of your body to pump blood. This can lead to breathing difficulties. Number eight, high blood pressure. The human body contains about 20 grams of potassium, which is distributed throughout the body's cells and fluids. Potassium is necessary for normal muscle function, including breathing and heartbeat. It also helps maintain healthy blood pressure. Potassium deficiency can increase your risk of developing high blood pressure by causing your body to retain sodium. Sodium increases the amount of water in your blood vessels, which increases their volume. This makes it harder for your heart to pump blood through your body. The kidneys regulate blood pressure by controlling how much sodium and water your body retains. When your kidneys detect low levels of potassium in the blood, they respond by retaining more sodium and water to compensate for this deficit. This action leads to high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. Number nine, polyuria. Polyuria is a condition in which a person has to urinate too often. It can also be defined as an abnormally increased volume of urine. Potassium deficiency can cause polyuria or excessive urination due to increased sodium absorption by the kidneys. Potassium also helps regulate water balance in the body by acting as a counterbalance to sodium and chloride. When there is an insufficient amount of potassium in the blood, excess fluid may be lost in the urine. This can result in dehydration, which can lead to other health problems such as weakness and fatigue. If you experience any of these symptoms of potassium deficiency, it's essential to consider your potassium intake and consult a healthcare professional if needed. By incorporating potassium-rich foods into your diet and maintaining a balanced intake of electrolytes, you'll be on your way to ensuring your body gets the nutrients it needs for optimal health. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging and informational content. Feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or any experiences with potassium deficiency in the comments below. Stay healthy, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.